education really works with developing the whole child, making the, the child comfortable with who they are as a person. And so later in life, when they go out into the world, they, they have more resilience. Got like what we've worked very hard at developing is a creative curriculum that really builds an education that will equip children to be flexible, adaptable learners who can contribute to the wider world. So from the very beginnings of our educational journey at Glen Ian, we ensure that every child is experiencing creativity in the very nature of its learning. They've worked in lots of different capacities with all different parts of themselves. They've worked artistically and academically, intellectually. They've worked with their hands. They've done so many different types of activities and learnt in so many different ways that they really have a good, strong centre. And, and they relate well to other children and to the world. And they're comfortable with themselves. Yes, I think you do tend to love learning because I think that you're taught to it in a really interesting way. With our main lesson books that we um, study every morning, you make it look beautiful and so you want to know your information so you can write it down and do appropriate drawings and stuff to go with it. And I think doing the drawings, you know, you can rem I remember things from year five because I did a certain drawing with it. I feel there's a lot more connection between the students and the teachers. It's really like you go into the classroom and you sit down and there is someone standing in front of you who wants to be there. There's someone who wants to teach you and is really interested in how you do and making sure that you do well. And after you've drawn all the observations, your conclusion has to relate to the law of inertia. We offer a very strong and rigorous academic program. In fact, our HSC students consistently score in the top 25% of the state from some years even reaching as high as 7%. Going into exams, we have exactly the same knowledge as other schools. We have learnt in a different way, but there's no lack of knowledge. We haven't had anything left out. I think fundamentally that my education gave me a love of learning, a sense of empathy and multiple perspectives on the world and being able to think globally and work collaboratively with people and also and importantly a sense of being able to self-initiate to draw on your resources, draw on your education and make things happen. Really being able to realise what it is that you're aiming for. very, very important. I feel it's the foundation for life. The foundation of our kindergarten day is the creative play. The day is very formed, but not like this. It's like a river that flows through the, the landscape of the day. We bake and we sing and we move and we draw and we work with beeswax and we listen to our stories. And so it seems like, oh, it's just having a lovely time, but it's very meaningful and very, very important to the development of a young child. Essential, really. Lucy is sitting on eggs, because on the holiday the rooster came to visit, so we might have baby chickens in the eggs. We follow the Northern European tradition of one teacher taking a class through the primary school. So when the children enter class one, there is one person who becomes their coach, their mentor, their guide, through this very crucial step in life, moving from early childhood before they reach adolescence. As well as that teacher, of course, there are many other teachers. We bring all the formal learning through the imagination, through images, through pictures. By being able to hear stories, being able to sing and have poetry and have a rich environment in the classroom, the child is emotionally fulfilled in a way that is beyond just purely intellectual knowledge. This for them builds a wonderful intrinsic motivation to learn, a joy in learning that is quite unique to the way that we educate. You're very welcome and you don't feel like you're being judged and well, each teacher can help you individually 
and they know how you work and what helps you the best and they can provide the attention that you need. And it's just very like open and you can say, you can ask questions and you know you'll get an answer. Only I could have given him this wonderful moon. I like coming to the junior library to read books and there's lots to choose from. The curriculum's very age appropriate. We make sure that the things we bring to the children are at the right academic and emotional and social age for them. Our main lesson is a, a subject that is taught over a three week period. It's taught in such depth that the children have a chance to delve into all aspects of that subject. A good example of our main lesson is the Year 5 Ancient Greece story, where for three weeks the students are immersed in the world of Socrates, of Plato, of Athens, of the world of the ancient Greeks, this fundamental stage in human development. They look at the great myths, they look at the legends, they look at how democracy was born in this early time. They really experience a deep understanding of ancient Greece. For us this is the highest aspiration for any school, to enable our students to step out into the world with that sense of meaning and direction which they themselves have cultivated, which has come out of their own aspirations, their own experience. In the high school we offer a very strong HSC program, we offer over 20 subjects, different courses for the HSC and our students consistently do very well, enabling them to go into any professional pathway that they choose. In addition, we enrich this learning with the main lessons which provide them with a global picture of some of the big ideas that have guided humanity. As they move through the school and into the high school, we have the full range of IT facilities available to them. We um, have laptops, iPads, our entire senior school building is Wi-Fi capable. Um, we have interactive whiteboards in the classrooms. This is our cooking book that we're creating right now and it connects with food chemistry and we've had a main lesson on that with Miss Rouse. My school is a very creative environment. The teachers are very engaging. The knowledge that we get from main lessons is something that I think we'll remember for the rest of our lives, really. I'm interested in being a vet, and so after school I want to go to university and study that further. And here I've been able to do the subjects which allow me to prepare myself for uni, and I think it's really good. <laughs> We were lucky enough to have a very rigorous academic training and academic education, but along with that was something really important which was also the ability to, to grow as a person, to, to really establish who you are and your beliefs, your principles, your values about the world. And to have that grounding, to have that foundation of both the academia and the personal and creative, I think is invaluable. What Glenian's about is an X factor that arms you in life with, with certain skills that allow you a self-confidence, allow you a sense of who you are, allow you an identity. I feel pretty, also pretty, that this city should give me its key. I think this balance is so fundamental to living in the world today, to working in the workplace, to, to being a part of an environment that we're not even sure about for our own children yet. Mm -hmm.